My name is John Glendinning. I've been at Barnard for 18 years. I'm a professor in the biology department and director of the neuroscience and behavior program. My family and I lived out in California in Monterey Bay and I and friends collected animals all the time. We had lizards, we had turtles, we had snakes, we had some rodents. We created uh, an an enclosure outside and we put all these animals inside this enclosure. I'm sure it was a totally bizarre situation but at the time it fascinated me. When I was in high school my, my stepfather who at that time was working at the University of Pennsylvania arranged for me to spend a summer at uh, Monell Chemical Senses Institute which is a place that studies the senses of taste and smell. At the time I worked with an investigator, uh, Gary Beecham, who was studying these wild guinea pigs from South America and they're really bizarre critters. They just loved salt and uh, it was just fascinating working with them and it's the first time I really started thinking about a connection between taste and diet. During my junior year I spent a year in Japan studying uh, Japanese macaques. It was fascinating from a biological standpoint, just looking at different troops of monkeys that would visit these sites and, and trying to understand all their social dynamics. My, uh, my interest in taste was rekindled um, during my doctoral research. We traveled down to uh, central Mexico, to the areas where the monarch butterfly overwinters. These colonies, they're enormous, 10 acres of forest of, of fir trees are literally covered with monarch butterflies. The monarchs had an incredible bitter taste owing to heart poisons that were in their body. Some mice and some birds could eat the monarchs and others couldn't, and we we're trying to figure out why. So I got interested in, in taste because it made me realize that Taste can have this huge structuring effect on a whole community of animals and determine whether certain animals can capitalize on this food bonanza and other animals couldn't. But I was obviously very happy to come to Barnard. I mean, it's a very exciting intellectual environment and I love the students. Since I've been here, certainly over the past 10 years, we've been focusing a lot on sweet taste in particular. Sugars and sweet foods are super abundant and they're creating a problem. And so we're trying to understand what drives this attraction to sugars. And what our work has revealed, with the help of lots of creative Barnard students, uh, is that there's this disjointed relationship between what we think tastes good and what we ingest a lot of. We taste sugars twice. We taste them in our mouth and we taste them a second time once they arrive in our gut. And it's that second tasting which is much more important in causing us to overconsume sugars. You need to figure out what really gets you up in the morning, what really excites you, and then to follow that path and, and see where it takes you.